All right, good morning. It is, what is it? March 16th, so uh, spring is in a few days here on Thursday, and uh, I'm putting kind of a time stamp on this. But what we're gonna do, I don't know how long we're gonna do this, we're gonna just try to be busy, I guess you could say, moving more during this whole COVID-19 thing. 6 a.m. in the morning, just rolled out of bed, got my Seahawks jersey on because things are a little tough here in Seattle right now, so I figured I'd represent, plus I just rolled out of bed, and I got to sleep with Russell Wilson, right? <laughs> so it's a good day. Um, all right, so today, I just wanna, what I'm gonna do today, we have to keep moving during this time. We're gonna be home a lot more, you know, watching this later, hopefully next year, you know, we have this COVID-19 crisis and we're all gonna be home a lot more and maybe doing this where we just kind of do something different, tune into these workouts, work out together and just kind of take it from there. I'll roll out of bed at 6 a.m. I haven't done one of these in a long time at 6 a.m. because this is actually usually when my son wakes up and he's going to school, he's not home. I mean, he's home now from, you know, not going to school. So letting him sleep in and uh, we're gonna play this by ear, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna take, there's gonna be so many times when we're sitting down. We're sitting down, we're watching more TV, we're playing video games, you know, board games, um, on our phone, looking at the news. And who I'm really worried about right now are people who cannot just go outside for a walk. Um, because of a, you know an injury or a health condition or it's cold you know right now it, it's it, it, hopefully by the time like the Sun is just starting to come up right now if the Sun comes up you know um, earlier I'll see if I can do these outside I really would I invite you to take XC outside okay pedal on your porch pedal open open a window Especially if you're in a nursing home or you're really cooped up or you're in a small apartment and you can go out on the balcony, do whatever you can right now to get fresh air while you're cycling. Especially if you can't get out and um, go on a walk. So I'm worried about those with limited mobility and health conditions right now. If we melt more into our couches and we're not, we're not moving, you know, that is so hard on our health. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? Take your XC. All right, here you got it. Just, if you haven't had one in a while, right? Open it up, okay? Stick it on the floor here. And to get started, okay, and, and this is where we're just putting it on the floor. You wanna take your heel, okay? And your heel will be at an extension. Um, like your knee will be fully extended. Okay, and you never want to have a full extension in your knee while you're pedaling, but you put your heel on and then you move down and you see how I get this natural bend and then you just sit back, okay? Now, I really, we always encourage people to pedal barefoot or with socks on. And there's a couple reasons for that. A lot of it has to do with, with foot fitness, okay? Right, where we're really getting our toes and we're pulling and pushing right and incorporating the foot into the process it's a better calf workout as well um and it just feels good okay during this time especially with all the time we want you to wipe XC down after using it but during this time of COVID-19 make sure that you're wiping it down y use a spray you know especially if you're transferring between hands and feet and also if multiple people in your home are using it Okay, if you just came from outside and you put your, you know, your tennis shoe on the pedal, you know, you're gonna leave stuff on the pedal, so wipe it off. All right, but let's do this really quick. All right, oh, tomorrow, so I always do these, this is day one of this challenge. Um, I always do these challenges where we start off easy, so usually like a two minute warm up, and that warm up is, if you have a health condition and you're just focusing on moving more right now, okay, you keep following at that pace, whatever pace works for you, okay, in that warm-up phase. And then after those two minutes, I try to crank it up a little bit more, 
And you know, XC really can be applicable from some, from elite athlete to completely immobile. All right, and you know, if you don't have mobility of your legs, use this time with us where we can actually you can pedal your arms. Okay, but let's let's do that. Um, <laughs> I can figure out right now how to screencast the new iPhone 11 onto the thing. So I'm sorry we won't be able to follow along um, in terms of what I'm doing. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the XE app. Right, and let's do, I'm gonna do the play button, okay? And then go ahead and let's put this at 15 minutes. And I am going to do an, um, this high intensity interval training. And I'm gonna do 30 seconds slow, and then I'm gonna do one minute fast. And everybody's different, okay? So high intensity interval training is highly recommended for people who even have health conditions. And so, but everybody's level of intensity is different. So follow your guideline, but try to push yourself a little bit more during the higher levels of intensity, okay? And, and you know, there's lots of, there's lots of, some people cannot do this position and that's okay. Tomorrow we'll do the lying down position. I'll get on the table and show you. But um, if you can cycle, okay? Right here, we're in the recumbent position. If you take XC, let's go ahead and start because I'm just going to talk away without doing this, okay? Um, all right, I'm starting. All right, so here's what I'm going to do is just go a little faster. If you want to add more intensity, we're going slower. We're going to add more intensity, then you can add hand weights, okay? You can add resistance bands, sit up, sit up tall, sit up straight, really focus on your core. Okay, get creative, have fun. We're kind of in lockdown for a while here, so I invite you to just play. And we always talk about just play while you're exercising because then it doesn't feel so dreadful. But we already know that, um, I'm pushing myself, that 80% of Americans don't get the recommended level of exercise to fight preventable disease, okay? And I'm worried during this time that we're gonna get even less. And so, Watch TV, pedal. Have just sit here, check the news. If you find yourself sitting down and not moving, you know, I don't know if you if you have an Apple Watch, you can set your timer. Now we're gonna go slow. So during these slow intervals, I actually like to pedal backwards. And um, sometimes I'll crank the resistance up higher, you know, and just move. Even sometimes I'll do this while I'm drinking coffee. Okay, whatever we have to do to just move more during this time. Kids can do this while they're playing video games as well. So, um, right, but we'll, we'll play, we'll do all kinds of different things during this time, but um, I'm worried about people not moving. I'm worried about people who usually go on a walk right now and, and they're not going to, or they're going, let's go forward, or they go to a gym and you know they're worried about that and their immune system and being in a gym and i think i read it today that they're probably closing down most gyms and i feel so bad for gym owners and um you know all the small businesses being impacted right now but don't use that opportunity the next six to eight weeks to not exercise it's uh there's so many things that can be lost in that six to eight weeks. And any of us who have had an injury and we kind of not don't do much, know how much we can lose in that six to eight weeks. Especially, let's say, I'm gonna go reverse. Let's say that you actually are keeping your New Year's resolution and you've been going, right? And now you're not going to go to the gym. Um, Keep moving, okay? Whatever you have to do. Jumping jacks, obviously not everybody can do those. You know, arm circles, there's so many things that we can do. So I'm gonna go a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna increase my intensity a little bit. All right, forward. You know, I'm not sure during these times where we can escape a little bit of maybe laughing and trying to find some humor in this 
And then I wake up, you know, just like everybody else, and I read the news, and there's not a lot of humor in it. So I'm just going to play this by ear, and, we'll, and then I'll figure out how we can have more dialogue. Maybe we'll move this to Zoom. I'm not sure, okay? But so right now, here's my goal in this position. This position is harder to get your heart rate up really high, okay? So my goal in this position is usually like, my heart rate of about 115, 120, right? Where I'm just getting enough movement and um, I'm pulling towards myself, okay? Get the hand weights going if you want more. Just a normal recumbent position here, okay? We did just, last night, I flipped the switch on our website where we decreased our cost um, by $100. You know, that's a tough thing for a small business, but I feel like we have to do our part in right now and get XC in the hands of more people as opposed to fewer people so that they can cycle. Okay, we have the rental program, month to month, or, or rent to own. I'm open to more ideas, okay? And I lost where we are. <laughs> so if I can't have this right in front of me, this is why I actually use the mobile coach. If I use the mobile coach, I push myself more. And uh, I'm a little chatty. <laughs> All right. So this next, this next one, I'll slow down and then uh, get some hand weights and show you guys a couple things. Now, my heart rate's 115. This is a great thing to do, watching TV again, being on your phone. So let's say I'm on my phone. Do, 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 right? And um, while you're playing cards with the kids, whatever, and the kids, we all, I'm doing it. My son's playing more video games right now than I would like him to be playing. We're, school, we're trying to figure out a good routine. We're still learning. Um, the school is completely shut down, so there's no online training. But, you know, there's a couple links out there of going to look at museums where we can talk about history. This is my plan, at least. All right. <laughs> I keep missing the marker, sorry. Um, you know, but have the kids pedal while they're playing video games, okay? I have some parents who will, you know, use temperature as intensity where they want the kids to be at 90 on the, on the temperature gauge while they're pedaling during video games, okay? Now, I'm gonna grab some weights here, hold on. All right. So here, all right, let's do these. Now, you know, we have been training and training and training for baseball season and if you've been following us for a while, you know that my son had an injury, a pars fracture, and so, oh, he just came off of this. Just got released to 100%, literally at the end of February, all ready for baseball season. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sit up a little bit more straight here, so I'm gonna move actually back, we'll see. So we're all prepped, ready for baseball. There is no baseball, right? So. Kids, in particular, mess with their psyche a little bit, okay? And if we don't keep exercising, right, at least to get rid of some anxiety possibly, you know, and if we sit too much and we're watching TV and playing video games, right, we need to get that vascular system going. And kids need it too, you know? They can't have play dates right now. I guess I'm not supposed to call them play dates anymore with a teenager, but they can't really hang out. So get them moving, okay? Go on a run if you can. Um, whatever you can do, okay? But moving is so important. Right. If you have a parent, and I am happy during this time to do one-on-one -on -one 
examples when training with anybody, okay? We can do a Zoom, walk you through it, you know, but especially seniors out there, you gotta keep them moving. I've had to, I just told my mom, my mom is 70, almost 71, and I'm on her like white on rice right now, like, mom, I want you walking, I want you filling your lungs with fresh air, you know, building up our immune system. And exercise works like this all the time. But right now, the more that we can do to keep our immune system strong, the better. So my heart rate's 117. And you can see, I'm just, you know, you can come up and go harder, you know, soft, whatever you want to do. But uh, I like to pedal backwards. I'm just a... I, you know, it's really funny. You'll notice when you, for those of you who have an XC, when you pedal backwards the first few times, it feels really awkward, <laughs> right? But then after a while, you're like, I actually kind of prefer pedaling backwards. And, um, you know, pedaling forwards and backwards is, I, I go back and forth, but um, it's just fun. Let's say, I want to tune this cut this back a little bit. For people who have limited mobility or oh God, have you just had surgery? I know these are going to be so hard for people. Just do these small back and forth motions, okay? The way we always talk about XC is it really is a lifestyle and starting from wherever you are and getting to where you want to be in, in intensity. So small motions. Okay, some calf pumps and just pedaling, right, to move. I'm, I, like, I'm a little overwhelmed right now with the, how many people need something in their life, businesses that are going out, kids who aren't going to school who don't have food, access to food that they need. Like, exercise is this small thing but it's so big <laughs> and uh, it's a good time to show the kids too that they need to be exercising. But I think right now we talk about exercise as medicine all the time. And right now I'm asking you to really do it. Okay, follow the guidelines for the CDC in terms of how much exercise we're supposed to be getting, 150 to 300 minutes. If you're gonna go this, something's better than nothing. Um, but let your kids see you exercising, okay? And, and placing it as a priority. And now I'm lecturing. I hardly ever get preachy on exercise. I really try not to do that because I think it's a turnoff. <laughs> um, it's a turnoff in my own family, right? When I'm like, hey, you need exercise. I hit them over the head. I feel like I'm sitting on this miracle pill and I just want you to take it, right? And I want you to take it now more than ever. All right, let me go backwards again here. But small motions. Okay, and we'll get into other positions with the keeper that if you are um, post-surgery and you're in bed, we'll do those tomorrow. I went back and forth on which one to do today. But right here, this, if you can pedal a recumbent exercise bike, if your physical therapist and your doctor, right, has told you to pedal a recumbent exercise bike, that is this position right here. We can change the height. But especially if you have lower back pain, we want you in this lowest position. And the, the lying down position too, okay? I love to add hand weights during these workouts, okay? All right, um, let me see, I just wanna, Make sure I'm not, and I'm sweaty. I'm starting to sweat, <laughs> which is a good thing. All right. I just want to see if I, all right. I'll figure out the screencast thing where you guys can see how I'm using the mobile app. Ah, there we go. So if you want to make this a core workout, Sitting up straight and pedaling and concentrating. Also, some isometric exercises, okay? Taking your hands, 
putting them together anywhere. And really pushing and engaging more muscle, taking your fist, okay? Pushing it into your hand and I'm pushing hard, right? And I'll show you guys a little trick. Let's say right now my heart rate's at 107, okay? If I engage more muscle, And these things you can do, whether you have an XC or not, okay? Isometric exercise, put some healthy stress on those bones, okay? You know, my heart rate just jumped up to 119 by simply adding more movement to the process, okay? I love heart rate. It's data. You can see it. Figure out if you're actually making a difference. You know, we all see these exercise videos where we're like, hammer, hammer, hammer sweat going everywhere and you do not have to do that to feel like you're to get the benefits of exercise we just have to move okay and they do say right the higher you know the more vigorous you go the better but not all of us can go that hard and that's okay okay i have been using xc now if i go back all pre-prototype five years right and XC is really all I do. I, I did start running um, in the beginning of January for the first time in 25 years. Like, so I'm getting like one and a half to two miles. Further validation that you do not have to go five miles or even three miles, okay? But just to do something. And uh, I'm a fan of just I, exercise as a lifestyle, all right? I'll do these 20 minutes and uh, right, but here we are. Now there, if you do a simple search um, on chair exercises, okay? We're not saying XC is the only thing in the world, you know, that you can do. You can do so many things. Do chair, there's chair yoga, you know? If you don't have an XC and just sitting there, even without weights, okay? Sitting there, getting your arms up, arm circles, okay? There's so many different things you can do. We obviously help with more cardio, okay? <clears throat> and strength training, but uh, mix it up, okay? What I'll do during this time is we'll, we'll transfer between hands and feet, hands and feet. So tomorrow I'll show you guys I do a hand workout, but also I really want to spend some time on the lying down position. You know, if you are bedridden and you can use your legs, it's a great workout. All right, let's go our first one. So heart rate's 115. Now, if I want to just hammer up see in this, this position, you know, going consistently here, we have some kind of, they go like three hours and it's amazing to me. Um, I don't know, we just pedal. And you can turn the resistance up a little bit. Okay. I am just begging you right now to not just sit there, okay? And if you're home a lot, do this like three times a day. Right, let's say you can't squeeze in a whole hour, 45 minutes or whatever, you don't have to. Like all research, we can snack on exercise of the day, we can do 10 minutes, we can do two minutes. Like two minutes is better than no minutes, but 10 minutes, sit down, do 10 minutes, get your mobile coaching app going, do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, and then another 10 or 20 in the evening. <clears throat> Man, that's what just... Now, I'm gonna show you some, some strength training things here, okay? Let's say I turn my resistance up a little bit more. Let's go even more, okay? And if you have an XE, you know that those little turns can end up being a lot. Like, so here, I am going nice and slow, but I am high resistance, you know? Like, just not smash my toe, right? Where's my other way? So, just to give you an example here, and I'm totally gonna smash my toe. It will be entertaining, I guess. All right. So right here, I'm taking that much weight and I'm gonna go slow in reverse. Okay, and 
nice and slow, the weight's going. And so now I'm working on strength training right here in my calves and my quads. But that much resistance forward would be very difficult. Um, I tore my hamstring last year. Every now and then it still gets a little sensitive if I go too much resistance forward. So I tend to go higher resistance in reverse, okay? Now I feel a little irresponsible without having my shoes on, without having shoes on because if I had to go to the emergency room right now, that would be unfair. It would be unfair to our healthcare workers. It would be unfair to the people who are on the front line of this thing. So stay the heck out of the emergency room, right? So don't put weights around with your bare toes, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, we have to do whatever we can to stay healthy and get, keep out of the emergency room. All right. Here we go, nice in reverse. So sometimes, right, we, again, we can do these isometric exercises with a lot of resistance. <laughs> and that is a lot harder. Okay, and some curls. Another thing, right, just taking your elbow, driving it into a chair, and put it on both sides and pedal. <clears throat> Whew, and I'm sweaty. So my heart rate right now is 115. It's been like 115, 120. And uh, we have like three more minutes. Sit up straight. So I still have that high resistance. Now, if you're doing XC for the first time, or you haven't used it in a long time, and you get the resistance up like this, what you'll feel like at first, okay, is you'll feel like chunky, chunky. Embrace the chunky, okay? Embrace it and work through it. We want you to first figure out, you know, the spin, so I take you at a really easy resistance at first. But pushing down, okay, you're doing strength training. You are on a giant hill, and this particular thing going backwards, right? And you're hammering up that hill. When you're on a real bike, and you're going up a real hill, spinning is not easy, right? You've got to stand on your bike. You've got to crank and push and pull. Same thing, okay? There's no flywheel to assist you, so you have to work through it. And I will have to say, as much as I am hotter than heck in a jersey, I don't know how football players, like, do they play with this material? Surely it must be thinner, right? But it's hot. All right. And I'm slow. But you can see here, like, it doesn't look like I'm working super hard, but I am building up a little bit of a sweat. My heart rate's 115. Like, what this is way better okay than doing nothing and it actually puts you in a nice little weight loss range um you know you can get you're kind of in a sweet spot so you you might come out of this kind of isolated self distancing thing a little healthier actually if we play our cards right we can absolutely now I have noticed, because we have more food in the house right now than normal, including more junk food, I'm eating it. <laughs> so I don't buy junk food <laughs> very often, but my husband is diabetic and not that he's not eating junk, but we have to have, you know, things here just for emergencies. <laughs> and so I have found myself sneaking a little Milky Way, you know, and they're supposed to be there for emergencies, but I still, I struggle if that stuff is in my house. <laughs> so if we start eating more and not exercising, then we're really in trouble. Okay, and there I am pointing my finger and lecturing. I'll try not to do that. All right. Whew. All right, there we go, that's 20 minutes. So I'm gonna stop that. <sighs> Move more during this time. 
Again, take XC outside, take your chair, any chair, take it outside, um, you know, pedal, try to get some fresh air, and maybe I'll show a little breaks during this time, whatever I can to just be distracting because all of this is a lot to take. And for those of you being more really directly impacted in terms of your paycheck and your business, um, your kids being home, trying to figure out how the heck we're gonna do all of this. And I don't think we, we know, but we can be there for each other, we can be there for our neighbors, we can be there for our family. And so I wanted to kind of give a care dare at the end of these things. And I think my care dare for you today is to touch base with somebody over the age of 60 with an underlying health condition. And that's a lot of people. That's millions and millions and millions of people. Okay, so I'm asking you today to reach out to somebody over the age of 60 with a very with a health condition, check in on them, okay? See how they feel, talk to them, do a FaceTime, do a Zoom call, just check in with them and ask them how they're doing, okay? If they have, you know, freaking enough toilet paper that's being hoarded, if they have, you know, um, wipes, if they need anything, um, and or just to talk and, do what you can, that's my care dare for today, to check in on somebody who's over the age of 60 again with a health condition. And here's the deal, so many of us have an underlying health condition that we don't talk about and we look like everything's good on the outside, but there's stuff going on, okay? So if you pick up the phone call and call somebody who is 60, <laughs> you know, a lot of times they might have a health condition they're not gonna talk to you about. So just check in on them, okay? And give them a nice little virtual hug, fist bump, let them see your face, do something. So we'll, we'll try to do the same things on here and doing these and do something to lift up our spirits, give you good little laughs here and there. Um, but have a nice day, best day possible, and um, take it easy and just move more today, okay? Exercise, do anything you can to not be sedentary during these times, all right? And break up the sedentary times because there's no doubt we're all going to be more sedentary. Break them up in some way, all righty? Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.